Please help me welcome Zidek Siu. Hi, uh, my name is Zidek Siu, I'm a, and I'm a writer and translator of fiction. Lately, I've been thinking a lot about return, about coming home. To understand why I think about this, let me tell you about where I'm from. I'm from Port Dickson, Negeri Sembilan, a semi-rural beach town. You might remember visiting Port Dickson as a child. Up until the 1990s, Port Dickson was a booming, but then the crash of 1997 happened. Now its heyday is over and the shore is lined with abandoned resorts, resort towers slipping into sand fly infested beaches. Uh, Port Dickson is also a town of heavy industry. It has two petroleum refineries. This gas flare from the Hengwen, or previously Shell, refinery is 200 meters from my bedroom window. I also live next to a secondary Kebangsaan school. It was Ramadan month before last, and I heard the school Ustaza ask her menstruating female students why they weren't fasting. Did they feel no shame? In many ways, I've come to see Port Dickson as a microcosm of Malaysia. The boom and bust of development, capitalism and the environment, religion, shame, authoritarianism. I was born in Port Dickson. Though I spent my 20s in KL, I moved back to Port Dickson because I could no longer afford the city. But also because I wanted to write. And Port Dickson is pretty much dead. It's quiet. No distractions. I was wrong. I spent time being distracted by my garden. It gets overgrown so quickly. There are monitor lizards, jungle fowl, civet cats, bats roost in our eaves. Uh, cows rub against the, our front gate at midnight. Hengren Refinery has a bird problem. Forest habitats have been cleared, so birds nest in the refinery. There are 15,000 birds there. Their collective shit falls, fouls up the machinery and poses a safety hazard to workers. I've learned a bit more about snakes. We had three copperhead racers in the house last December. They are very, uh, they are not poisonous, but they are angry. Uh, spooked our cat so much, she never slept on the floor again. Uh, by the way, sulfur never helps. University Putra Malaysia has a marine research station in Port Dickson. Last year, one of its biologists identified a new species of sea slug and named it after the trans activist Nisha Ayub. That's it right there. Uh, that biologist, uh, Lina Wong, was kind enough to blurb our book. This is our book, uh, Creatures of Near Kingdoms. It's a collection of 75 imaginary animals and plants native to this region. Our book has mudskippers the size of countries, trees with the soles of eagles, magic sea slugs, and vampire snails and fern patterns that grow out of batik fabric. It has religious jungle fowl. It has spirit tigers. We are quite proud of our book. People seem to like it. Uh, published in August, it travels, surprisingly. We get orders from around the world. Uh, now it's in its third printing. That's, that's not bad for Malaysian small press. Thank you. I worry about the book being in English. I write in English mainly, that won't change. But not everybody in Port Dickson, for example, speaks or reads in English. What does it mean to write a book about Port Dickson, so much about Port Dickson, that Port Dickson people may not be able to read? Uh, I keep saying our book, the art you have been seeing, are lino cut prints and pattern designs that artist Sharon Chin created for our book. She, uh, Sharon and I live together in Port Dickson. 
Creatures of Near Kingdoms was always going to be a collaboration. It was important to us that it be visual. Even if you cannot read the English language text, you can read Sharon's image. Our publisher, Maple Comics, publishes stuff both in English and Malay. So, kita orang sedang terjemahkan buku ini ke dalam bahasa Melayu. Uh, September nanti keluarlah World CBM. Kesemua ini, kerja translasi, seni visual, bekerja dengan penerbit lokal, ini maksud aku bila aku sebut pasal return. Keinginan membina jambatan hati dengan orang di sini. Keinginan untuk pulang. Because stories come from somewhere. Mine definitely do. And if I don't bring them back, if I don't give back to the place that gave me my stories, I would be an extractor, like a logging company or a petroleum refinery. Thank you. <laughs>